here in Raleigh. I made it. Hello, people. Hey. <laughs> it's Moog Fest time. Uh, this is the state capitol? What? We're at the uh, Remedy Diner in Raleigh. <laughs> What's up? Hey. What, which one did you get? The uh, Carolina barbecue. I got a black bean burger. Oh, nice. Yes. Shreds. Shreds. That's tasty. Nice. And this is the tempeh tantrum. All right, Avin, can you talk about what you're doing while you chop? I am making a pseudo Cajun stew. I'm saying pseudo because it's vegan and really there's no such thing as, huh. as uh, Cajun vegan. But I am making an approximation somewhere between a Cajun stew and a pepper steak, but vegan. I'm not making a big root because I don't want this to be greasy or anything. So yeah, it's uh, garbanzo bean flour, olive oil, and coconut oil. Mm. And we're going to darken that up somewhat slowly, although a little faster than normal. You never burn the root, because when you do, you gotta start over. We got the root darkening up here. We're gonna go to a deep chocolate color before we, before we keep going with that. And I just started to saute the vegetables here so that I can do that separate from the root, but then we'll combine everything when the root gets to a dark chocolate color. And we'll start, we'll start putting some, some bouillon in there, vegetable bouillon, and we'll move on from there. Now we are nearing the color, and we're about to add the sauteed vegetables into it and cook it down just a little bit more. If we were doing a gumbo, I would still go a little darker than this, but for a stew, this is a good, nice chocolatey color for the roux. We're now going to reconstitute some very large textured vegetable protein. The key to everything. <laughs> you look so serious. I never really used TDP. I've only ever seen it in crumbles. We got those too. But this, since we're going more for a stew pepper steak thing, it's going to give us a nice texture. And uh, actually, this is um, faux chicken flavor. We mm -hmm. also have a faux beef flavor, but I haven't opened that pack yet. So we're going with the faux chicken flavor. And it doesn't really approximate chicken, but the fact that they actually tried to flavor it helps out. You know? Yeah. It's, it's not like the crumbles, which are take the flavor of whatever you're making. This actually has a little bit of flavor of its own, which helps. We put some broth in there now to kind of just start constituting everything. But at, while we're doing that, we're almost finished getting the TVP ready to go in. And we're also um, browning up a little bit tofu to go in there as well. Mm -hmm. And of course we have peas in the back as our side dish. Uh, so we're going along. Okay, let's check in where are we at. We are, oh, just, whoa. we are just simmering down. Everything is together. We have the TVP and the, um, the browned tofu in. So we're just letting it all blend together, mix together, let the flavors coalesce using words that I shouldn't. <laughs> and uh, the peas are peas. I mean, literally, yeah. uh, we opened can and heated them up. Amazing. And there we go. There, there's rice up there too. So vegan potato salad. Um, had red potatoes in it, and for the egg substitute, I actually used um, some finely diced up, super firm tofu. Um, there's also minced celery in it, and then I used a um, Cajun seasoning, Tony Sachery's all season salt, uh, with a little bit of smoked paprika and garlic powder. And of course, vegan mayonnaise and a little bit of mustard. And this is the stew going on some rice. Yes. Oh my God, it looks so good. 